So this is my 1984 Zenith VM6000. It is, of course, a rebadge of the JVC GRC1, which is a very popular camcorder. One of the issues with these is that it's really hard to find a battery for them. The only reliable source I can find is a site out of Germany, and unfortunately, those are like $80 to get to Canada. So this video is about doing a battery for those. I have this one that I did back in November when I got it, but I didn't treat it properly and it has gone bad. It can get like 15 minutes on the full charge now, and that's after cycling it like 30 times. So I have another one right here, uh, but it's just an empty shell right now. So what we're going to do for this is get rid of this big positive terminal with a temp, I think that's a temp switch. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then we gotta rip out all of this plastic in here and in here. And in this Amazon bag is the new battery. They're only about $25 on Amazon. In order to get this pack open, I used uh, a pocket knife and a hammer. Uh, and optionally, you can use a flathead screwdriver. But you don't have to. It's a little harder with a screwdriver. It's pretty easy to come apart though. Just make sure that you're careful. Otherwise, you will snap this back panel in half like I did with uh, this one here. I got it on my Panasonic PV100, which uh, was built by JVC for Panasonic. And they use the same batteries. But I cracked this one in half, unfortunately. These are stronger plastic though, this one. That one was really weak. So this is the battery that I'm using. It is a 9.6 volt, 2100 milliamp hour battery pack uh, from Tektra. So we do have to modify it just a little bit. This plastic lead here, we need to cut it off and save it for later because this is gonna be our charging port. Uh, on here, this is both the output and the charging port. So it is completely safe to do so. You cannot charge this on the original battery charger. You need to buy a compatible uh, nickel metal hydride battery charger. It will explode. This is my third battery. Uh, this is my second one. The first one did explode because I tried using the original charger. You cannot do that. Nickel cadmium chargers are not compatible with nickel metal hydride batteries. But uh, nickel cadmium can be charged on a nickel metal hydride battery charger. So this is the first thing you want to do to your battery, is just cut this head off and then strip all the ends. You will need to solder for this. If you don't know how to solder, I highly suggest you learn if you're going to be in uh, the hobby of collecting vintage electronics. You will almost definitely need soldering for nearly everything. We're going to just move stuff around. So now that we've done this, we have to rip out all these little plastic notches where the original... Uh, sub c nickel cadmium cells would have been of course you can always go that route but nickel cadmium sucks because it has the memory effect which can uh greatly shorten your battery capacity if you don't charge them properly they need to be completely discharged before you recharge them otherwise it'll do bad stuff i don't exactly know the whole bit of that but it will destroy your batteries all right, so after you've cleared out all the plastic from the inside of your battery, you'll have a pile of plastic like that, you can throw it away. Some people might go in here with a Dremel and clean up all the sharp bits and all the old glue. I'm not one of those people. I don't care. It's not going to be seen anyway. So you can choose which half you want to have your battery on. I recommend the thicker half because you'll need to cut a hole, and I don't think you want to mess up the rails that hold the battery to your camera. Once you've uh, cut the charging port off your battery, you can go ahead and just twist them together like that. And you're going to want to solder these before you put them onto your contacts on the inside here. Alright, so after you've soldered everything in, they're not my best solders, but they'll work for now. You can just put your battery into place and then you can decide where you want your charging port to go. 
Mine's going to go right out the top right there because I didn't make it long enough. Oh, well. You're going to have to choose what you want to seal it with. I always use uh, this. I don't think it's an inch wide uh, Gorilla Tape. You can find it at the dollar store. But it usually is the perfect height for most of my batteries, like right here. And I can open it up if I ever have to again. I can turn my iron off. So I'll get that done and you'll see what the finished product looks like. So here's the battery, all sealed up. I might have to make that hole bigger for the charging port. But regardless, it looks okay. Uh, oh, and also make sure you don't mix up your uh, positive and negative. That can really screw you up. That went on easier than my other one. I dropped it a couple months ago. And there we go. Powering on. It checks. It does all the normal camcorder stuff. And I actually re-greased the mechanism two months ago. So it loads a lot faster than it did. That's about twice as fast it was as what it was before. I can go ahead and hit record. And I see tapes moving. I think these come about half charged. And it's super dark down here, so not really gonna see much through there. But yeah. So that is a fully rebuilt, uh, kind of the cheap way. A fully rebuilt battery for the JVC GRC1, which also works with quite a few other cameras. Uh, GR60, GRC7, I have to, uh, PV100D, which is a Panasonic camera that JVC built for Panasonic. There we go. This one also works, but not as well. That also just gave me another excuse uh, to build another one. This one going bad. Because I like doing that. Yeah, that's about it.